Hey folks, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. Here right outside Clickbuck Wood, extremely low on gold feathers, probably should have restocked that, but whatever. We are heading off. We have yet another note to get through, but uh, frankly, because we have 900 notes, this is not much of a challenge to get through, as you can see. And ta-da! And this is it. No more levels, just time to show down with Grunty. And through we go. Shall I get through here? And... Well, this is Quincy. Hey there, Toadie. Tootie. I know your name. There are question marks on them. What could this mean? Who knows, let's go. Welcome to Grunty's Furnace Fun. This is kind of completely out of left field, but here you go. This is Grunty's idea of a final challenge. Kind of weird. It's basically a giant quiz show to see how much of the game you remember. Oh, and two to the prize, yeah. So basically it's a board game, and uh, for the fun of it, I'm going to challenge you to see how much you can get right of what I do. Like, how well you would score, whether you would pass or whether you would fail, how well you've been paying attention. And god, Grunty, you're talking a lot. So I'm gonna give about 10 seconds each, I'm gonna give the time limit, and uh, you need to keep track of how many you get wrong, basically. So let's start. You know, maybe I shouldn't give it that whole time. That's a long time. So just see how quickly you can get things. Yeah, these ones you gotta take a screenshot, or you see a screenshot, and you gotta tell where it's from. And it's often a very unhelpful little shot. So, is it Rusty Bucket Bay or is it Clanker's Cavern? It's definitely not Mad Monster Mansion. Let's go for Rusty Bucket Bay. And you see these honeycomb here. Uh, you basically want to leave them. You don't want to collect them immediately. If you get something wrong, then uh, you'll lose health. You want to keep those for when you lose health. This should not be hard at all if you've been paying attention. Because neither of the other two are in the game. Here, you need an audio cue. And since this game has awesome music, generally it's pretty easy. Although voices were different. Oh, that's eerie if I've ever heard one. This one doesn't even exist, and you've probably heard a lot of Kazooie. So avoid that. And these are Jokers. If you get this one right, it's of a random thing, uh, then you'll get Joker cards, which allow you to skip. This should not be hard at all again. Maybe if one was an ant and one was a termite, you'd get confused, but you have to be an idiot. Uh, these ones with the skulls, uh, if 
I think they're again random, and if you get them wrong, you die immediately. Completely. Generally not worth it. So I'd void. So let's go over to this visual one. Another Rusty Bucket Bay one? Surely loves Rusty Bucket Bay. God, I'm not, I'm not even giving you any time for that. That's obvious. Oh, I never showed this. He, he's not even there. So, it, it, it's okay if you didn't get that one right. I didn't actually show it. Uh, these are timed challenges. You gotta do them as quickly as possible. Oh boy! Yep, do it quick. And hopefully get it right. I'm just not good with the depth perception on these turtles. So sometimes they're combat, sometimes they're puzzles. Now, grunty squares. <laughs> these are the fun ones. Uh, these test you on how much you remember of what Brentilda told you. And, as I've said before, uh, this information is randomly chosen at the beginning of the game, so you can't steal my answers or look on an online guide. Do you remember? It's gruesome green. Now, I actually don't remember. I have a cheat sheet over to my right on the on the computer. So, yeah, this is a death square, and you know what I'm doing? I'm skipping it. I I will basically never, ever do this one. So you press B if you use a joker. Because I, I don't think it's worth risking, ever. A lot of the time you can tell just on the voice what kind of, like, species they are, so yeah. Yeah, Siri? Ooh, I don't even remember this. I'm guessing 10. Yeah. This 5, I think, was the first one. 25 is just ridiculous. Swear to God, it's Rusty Bucket Bay again. Okay, no. Ooh, which is it? I think it's like Buckwood. Yeah. I believe that was Naughty's house. Although I don't fully remember. Dinner. What is it? I actually have that listed as lunch, I don't know why. Maybe it's a weird British thing. Gee, I wonder who it is. Yeah, we got... Each one gives you two, which is very nice.
This... You have to be pretty dumb. Because... Okay, maybe Banjo's house, but... The second answer, wow, really. Got a lot of these audio ones. You've heard this one plenty. I, I like these ones. These two are clever answers. Actually, they're all clever answers. I love how even in a quiz show, they give Grunty a lot of personality. Oh god, this one. This one, I'm not good at. So, I recommend uh, taking out the mummy immediately. Because otherwise, he'll just hit you a lot and waste time. So I'm not good at this. The time challenges are probably the hardest ones for me. Mostly because I have terrible memory, and they love the memory games. But yeah, if you don't take out that mummy, things are so much more annoying. Because you'll be constantly bouncing off him, and he'll be trying to hurt you. And you'll lose health. That's another annoying. But, as you can see, we managed to do it with enough time, despite screwing up. And if you're already low on health, you can grab the health that he drops, but I didn't have to do that. And, I don't know if I want to go for that Joker thing. I think I have enough. Well, there's a walrus, but no seal. That can be kind of tricky, if you don't know your walrusology. But luckily, I am a walrusologist. Oh, that's Treasure Trove Cove. You can also tell by the general color scheme, which makes Clanker's Cavern and, uh, and Rusty Bucket Bay a little hard to tell apart. But remember, the Rusty Bucket Bay is a bit more red. Toothpaste. Oh, that would be Salted Slug. It's actually the very first trivia I got. Sweet. Uh, I believe it's Broomstick Racing. Yep. And as you can see, you're, you're forced to take at least one death thing, as long as you use a joker and skip it. <laughs> nah, no, I'm not so good at that one. <laughs> yeah, here you... You remember the name of the level, right? <laughs> I mean, really. Alright, one last time thing. I, I could just skip it. But nah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to do this one without so many, uh, so many feathers. Generally you want to come in with a lot of feathers and just cheese the hell out of this boss fight like I did before. As you can see, it's a bit more of a butt when you don't have the feathers. Because guys take multiple hits. But I can do this. And let's do this. And I'm gonna wanna go grab a 
health that I skipped over. Because I'm getting my ass kicked here. Yeah, I guess the issue there is that I was trying to do the Rattatat tap and their low boxes very far down, so... Yeah, I kind of just completely skipped over them. But as you can see, plenty of health left over. And let's see, can I use the... No, you cannot use the Talon Trot while on the game board. Until you've cleared it, anyway. But yeah, in case you were feeling bad about me being so totally awesome about that game, about this game, yeah. I still get my ass kicked. Silly seahorse. I love alliteration, by the way. Alliteration is like my favorite thing ever, except for hyphens. Skipping over you. Oh yeah, this one. I believe this is a cauldron crew, yes. And let's see, do I want to take a risk, or do I want to just... Risk through that. Use your Joker cards, people. No, not the credits! Run, Grunty! Run! Dude, washing machine. Washing machine, come on. No, the washing machine. No, the washing machine. That's not what I mean. Make it clean with the washing machine. As long as you take the washing machine with you.
see you folks. This has been Banjo-Kazooie.